Okay, in this video, we're going to work out a problem with angles and chords with two intersecting circles. Now, let's look specifically what this problem is asking us to do. We have two circles that intersect at points A and B. So there's two intersections here, overlapping circles. Now, we know that angle AXB, AXB, this angle is 70 degrees. So let's put that in there. Okay. We also know that the arc CD, which is this one right here, this arc is equal to 20 degrees. So let's put that in there as well. We also know that this larger arc EF, EF is equal to 160 degrees. All right. So let's put that in there. So those are all given. Okay, once we know that, what we're looking for is the difference between the arcs AB of the large circle, so that's this one right here, versus the arc of the small circle. Well, actually, this one minus this one. It doesn't really make any difference which way you do it. Just subtract both of those small arcs by and then see what the difference is, okay? So that's what we're looking for. We're just looking for those. Now, in order to do that, we need to find what this large arc is here and this arc is here. And then we could track the difference. So let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can do this. It looks like this is going to be a two-part process. So let's start with this large circle here. And as much as possible, I want you to X out of your mind, erase out of your mind, this circle. And I want you to see that we have an external point here, and then we have two lines going in and intersecting into this large circle. All right, so we've got an external point and then two chords, and in this case, two secants, really, right? Because they're intersecting at two spots, going through there. And we should be able to find what the measure of this angle is right here. Because you'll remember that the measure of this angle, so let's just call that 70, should be equal to the sum of the two arcs, this arc and this arc, or one half, I should say, one half the sum of EF plus AB. That's just one of the theorems that we talked about. Now, notice that I already put the angle measurement 70 in here. We can still put the angle, uh, we can still put the measurement of the arc 160 into the EF. All right, so I'm just going to erase that real quickly and put in 160. Now, what that does is leaves one unknown, and that's the unknown that we're looking for, this particular arc here, AB. All right, so let's go ahead and work our algebra and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to distribute this, and I'm going to get 1 half times 160 is 80. 1 half times this arc, measure of this arc, is just 1 half. AB arc divided by 2, and again that's equal to 70. I said plus, rather. I'm sorry. Let's go back and change that. That should be a minus. Okay, so let's go ahead and make that happen. Let's go ahead and subtract 80 from both sides. That gives me negative 10 degrees is equal to a negative measure of the arc AB divided by 2. Let's go ahead and multiply this by 1. Cross out this denominator. That's going to give us a negative 20 degrees should be equal to the negative measure of the arc AB. And of course, we can just divide both sides by negative 1, and you'll get the arc AB is equal to 20 degrees. So that's what we've got going on here, okay? This particular arc is 20 degrees. So we found 1. Now let's go ahead and see if we can find this particular part of the arc. And to do that, I want you to, as much as possible, block out this circle here. All right, and let's just focus on this circle over here. How could we find this one? 
Well, we know a couple things. We know that this chord, we've got this circle here, and we have crisscrossing chords. And remember how you find the angle of crisscross swords, right, that intersect not on the diameter. So this angle would be equal to the sum of this arc plus this arc divided by 2, right? So again, we would say 70 would be equal to the sum, one half the sum of arc AB, but this side now, plus this part over here, CD, arc CD. Now, we do already know what arc CD is, and that was given to us as 20, so let's go ahead and substitute. And once again, you've got one variable left, okay, of all these. And this is going to be the arc of this tri of this uh, circle right here. So let's go ahead and distribute. You get 70 degrees is equal to one-half the arc AB plus one-half times 20 is 10. Subtract that over there, you're going to get 60 is equal to one-half the measure of the arc, AB. Let's multiply this side by 1, cross out the denominators, and you get 120 is equal to the arc, AB. Okay, now we've got our two arcs. This one is 120. This one is 20. 120 minus 20 will give us 100. And that should be the answer for this particular problem. Okay, so again, looking at the strategies here, as much as possible, you want to try to eliminate this circle and just look at that circle there with the, uh, with the uh, arc, or excuse me, with the angle having an external vertex. Okay, and then figure out which theorem you could use to solve for this part right here. And in the same way, you want to block out the other circle, use the theorem where there are two intersecting chords that are not on the, sing, uh, not on the uh, center point, and then use that theorem to solve that one, get these two numbers individually, subtract them, and you'll get your answer. Okay, I hope that was helpful.